Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. So last week I filmed loads of new pieces that were in my wardrobe. I took you guys shopping with me and then I asked you guys what you want to see on my Instagram, what you'd like to see on my YouTube channel. And a lot of you guys asked for like autumn styling, more fashion content. So I thought what I'd do this week is show you guys loads of different options of autumnal outfits. Perfect for this transitional weather because so you're seeing this a week after from right now. Right now it's gloomy but next week's weather looks really sunny and bright so I've kept that in mind and just kept British weather in mind as well. So I've got loads of different transitional pieces but also summery bits and autumnal wintry bits as well. So a bit of everything for you in this vlog. Let's jump right into it. So I'm starting with this cheetah print dress from And Other Stories. Is it cheetah print? It's got these lines, maybe not. Animal print dress. I really like it mainly because of this waist detail. If I zoom in and show you guys, it's got this really nice wrapped kind of effect and it's like that because the back is elasticated of the belt so it's really nice really hugs you in all the right places and then another thing i really like about the dress is the sleeves and the neck like it's got this really nice slit neck detail and the sleeves are nice and loose and oh it's just such a nice vibe so i just think this dress is really versatile you can wear it for like professional wear at work if you work in an office but i would wear it to like brunch i'd even wear it to dinner i just think it's so versatile you can put a blazer on top or you can put a leather jacket on top and the colors are really good as well for autumn winter as well so you can still wear dresses and feel cute i'm just going to show you guys with a leather jacket so this is the full outfit the leather jacket is from all saints i've had mine for ages i would recommend sizing down in this one because it does stretch and then my boots are from asos last year and my bag i would wear my fendi because i wear it at every given opportunity and then my jewelry i've got this really nice sin i think is it pronounced Sign signier ring or signet ring i don't know but yeah i really like this one this one's from cinco and then on my other hand i've got my two maya miguel bands and then the earrings i'm wearing are from and other stories these are no longer available but they have some quite similar pairs in stock online and then i've got this really simple snake chain necklace this one i believe is from misoma so yeah this is the first outfit and of course i'll have everything linked in the description box below so the next outfit is one of my favorites it's so not me but i just absolutely love it so i picked up this jogger set if you didn't watch my last video why not but I got this from And Other Stories. This is a size small, this is size medium. Right now, these joggers aren't available online because I got them in store, but if they are available, I'll definitely link them. The hoodie is available. It's this really nice scuba kind of material. It's really thick and it's very warm, so it's really good if you're looking for some more wintry pieces. This is gonna keep you so toasty. If you put like a vest on or like a crew neck t-shirt, this is gonna keep you so warm throughout winter and then I've paired it with these trainers from Golden Goose I absolutely love these trainers and they're my like go-to pair of shoes because they're just so comfortable and I can like be a bit careless with them because they're like distressed so yeah love them and I drive in these I just I wear these literally every day and then my bag I'm wearing my Valentino Rockstead bag I've fallen in love with this bag again recently I don't know why but I just think it's so cool and I think it goes really well with this set as well and then for my sunnies I've got these ones from Ray-Ban I've got the octagonal lens I have the round ones which I've worn to death and I thought you guys are probably so sick of seeing me in those round sunnies so I got these ones and I really like the shape of them i think they're really cool however the only thing i don't like about these is that they're not polarized and they don't come in a polarized lens either because they're vintage style so they don't want to make them not vintage anymore which doesn't make sense to me i just think you should polarize all your lenses anyway that's this outfit it's one of my absolute favorites and yeah oh yeah if you're not subscribed to me 
it subscribe down below. I'm sure you're watching other videos of mine and this might be the second or the third. Maybe it's not, maybe it's the first, but I'd love to have you around. So hit the subscribe button below and switch on bell notifications. I found another fan of this outfit. So cute how she's tucked her paws in. Cutie. Love ya. Alright guys, excuse the mess in the back. Noni's asleep and I, oh maybe she's not asleep, oh no she is asleep and I don't want to move her so I'm just going to leave my clothes on there and she can sleep on them. So this is the next outfit, so the trousers are quite an old pair from Arquette but hopefully they have some similar ones in store this year as well, I think I got these last year. They're these really nice, I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera but they're like a satiny material and they've got a really nice fit as well so I really like these. And then I've got a plain black t-shirt underneath which I've just tucked in to my trousers and then I've paired that with this oversized black blazer this was in store on sale so I'm pretty sure you won't be able to get this exact one but they have some which are so similar to this one on weekday still so I'll have those linked in the description box as well I just really like how the trousers really cinch in at the top and then paired with an oversized blazer it's just really cool bit feminine bit masculine and then of course I've got my Fendi it's my go-to bag for a an all black outfit and then my heels I've got these Jimmy Choo's I can't remember if these ones I got from Vista Village I think I might have I get a lot of my Jimmy Choo's from Vista Village actually so if you're looking for some good classic courts I would highly suggest going to Vista Village because they have them for like a fraction of the price that you get them in Harrods so that's pretty much all of the outfit and then my earrings are the tiniest huggies let me show you guys the tiniest huggies from Cinco, they're just these silver diamantes and then my little chain is also from Cinco. this one's really good because it's really easily adjustable so you can just easily put this one on so you can easily just adjust this from this little thing here it's obviously a lot easier when you've got both hands free and then for my rings, I decided to keep it really simple and I've just got, well, this is simple for me. These are the Lang rings from Cinco and I absolutely love these. They're just really chunky and cool and they're like this brushed gold, like it's not super shiny, it's kind of matte. So I really like them and yeah, I just think this outfit has a really cool vibe to it and it's quite office appropriate depending on if your office is okay with like t-shirts, but everything else is really cool. If it's not, okay with t-shirts just wear a black shirt and it's oh just love these trousers i'm gonna try and find some really similar trousers because i think that's what's making this look but an oversized blazer is going to be super easy for you to find and yeah that's this outfit done okay now my next outfit is one i'd wear so many places shopping brunch errands anything really and i think it screams autumn to me because of the color of the coat i'm so glad and other stories have brought this coat back because it's one of my absolute favorites it's got one single belt obviously single it's not gonna have two belts but i quite like it when it's just open and not fastened but when it's fastened it's really cool let me show you guys so this is what it looks like fastened so yeah it's just got that really nice Nice chic robe look to it. I personally love a robe coat. I don't know if they suit everyone's taste but I really like this one and it's available in navy as well which I'm actually debating whether I need in my life or not because it's exactly the same as this but just navy. So yeah I've paired it with these trainers. These are my YSL trainers. I haven't worn these in the longest time because they're not very comfortable but my sister has these and she loves them so I think with the sizing if like your between sizes go up half a size or just get a bigger size because they really really hurt my feet whenever I wear them but they do look really cool on and then I've got my Chloe bag here my Chloe Tess in mushroom it's such a nice color and the mixed metals everything I just really like this bag and then underneath I've got some blue skinny jeans which you can never go wrong with and a simple white tee so again like if it gets really warm I can just whip my coat off and yeah and then for my jewellery I'm wearing the same huggies as before and then this really pretty necklace from Edge of Ember. This is the ruby birthstone. My birthstone isn't ruby but I just like how this one looks. So really like this necklace. And then my Lang rings, same as before. And then my ray 
ban the round ones which you guys have seen a million times but i still love these i actually have a really similar pair from asos which are i think 10 pounds or even six pounds something really really affordable compared to the ray-bans i heard of them through alice olivia so shout out to her for getting me on that hype let me show you guys what they look like actually so here are the ASOS ones, they look pretty similar, but the reason I really like the Ray-Ban ones is because they're polarised, so I love driving in these. I don't like wearing any of the sunglasses while I'm driving because I can see so much clearer with a polarised lens, so they're so, so worth the money for me. So here is my last outfit, so I'm wearing these leather trousers. These are from last year, but they have some similar ones again this year. And then I've got these Jimmy Choo's, which are like a lace kind of effect. These are also from Mister, if I remember correctly. I really like these when I don't want to just wear plain black heels. They just add a little bit something extra. And then my shirt is this satin silky shirt from Nasty Girl. This one is such a nice fit. I actually had another one on from a more like pricey retailer and that one just didn't fit as nicely as this one. So this one I really like because I can style it a hundred different ways and it looks really good with leather leggings. I find that a lot of shirts don't look Good with leather leggings so this one's a good one to have and yeah I just like that it's a bit silky satiny just makes me feel a bit fancy so this would be like a dinner outfit and then for my bag I'm wearing my Louis Vuitton bum bag but I've got it on my shoulder and then my necklace is this Misoma one and then my green ring discontinued but I'll try and find an alternative and the same earrings as before and I just like how this outfit looks with super sleek straight hair it's just really nice and you know and then for my coat, I can't actually decide between a black, like slouchy robe coat or a grey one. So let me try both of them on and you guys can help me decide. So here is the black coat. It does look very sophisticated with an all black outfit, I feel. And this one's really oversized as well. It does have a belt fastening and then it has really big pockets on either side as well. So this is the black one. I've worn this one to death and yeah, it's from Zara and I'm pretty sure they come out with similar black coats every year. So this is the black one. And then we have this grey coat. This one is from Mango and it's slightly shorter than the black one. Yeah, I mean, I think either coats work really. They're both either black or monochromatic and they just look look quite nice with the rest of the pieces. This coat isn't available anymore but they have a very similar one in store and online. I think it's either a little bit lighter or a little bit darker than this one but the cut and pretty much everything is exactly the same as this one. So yeah that's this outfit for you. So that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you buy any of the items. Let me know if you like this video. Let me know what else you want to see and make sure you hit subscribe and you follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!